For this first task of Lab 7, I've got QGIS Desktop open with the Salem Downtown Project open. And in this task, I'm going to label the roads, the water, and the parks using some basic QGIS labeling techniques. Then in task 2, I'll improve the labeling using some more advanced techniques. So this project contains multiple OpenStreetMap layers that have been downloaded from OpenStreetMap, clipped to the downtown Salem, Massachusetts area, and styled. This map is supposed to be at 1 to 2,500. My scale is a little larger. I'm at 1 to 1,602. I have a large monitor, and just for the purposes of this video, I'm going to keep it at this scale so you can see the detail of the features and the labels as I go through this. But you should set this to 1 to 2,500 for your project, and therefore every design decision made is going to be with respect to producing at this scale. So first, I'm going to work with the labels for the waterway layer. So I'm going to double click on that to open up the layer properties and open up the labels tab. And I'll check this label this layer with checkbox and click the drop down to choose the name field for my labels. And I'll click apply. And you can see a label being applied with basic settings. But while I have this open, I want to change some of these settings. I'm going to go to the text column and instead of the default font, I'm going to choose Arial. I'm going to choose a style of italic and a size of 9. Then I'm going to click the drop down for color, choose color, and I'm going to enter a hue saturation and value for these labels of 200, 100, 100, and click OK. Next I'm going to go to the placement label tab and I'm going to choose the position of online. With these settings in place I'll click OK and my labels have been applied. So notice down here the South River label in the bottom right corner of the map overlaps with the road feature. So this isn't a desirable label placement. Unfortunately with these basic labeling options I can't do much about this. I'll address this problem in task 2 when we use more advanced techniques. Now that the waterways are labeled I'll label the natural areas which happen to be parks on my map. So I'm going to open up the layer properties for the natural layer and again choose to label this layer with and from the attribute column choose name as the field to label my features with. And then I'll set the following label properties. I'm going to start with the text tab and I'm going to choose Arial as the font for these labels. Under style I'll make them italic. Under size I'm going to set them to 9.0 and then under color I'm going to choose the color and set this to a hue saturation and value of 123 75, 30. With that set, I'll switch to the placement tab and make sure that placement is set to around centroid and centroid is visible polygon. With that set, I'll click OK to apply these changes and have these features labeled. So let's examine how this looks right now. So we can turn our attention to Armory Park right here. Notice that the label runs over onto the adjacent building. Again, not much I can do about this with the basic labeling here, so I'll address this problem in task two. So now let's turn our attention to the roads layer. I'm going to double click on roads to open up layer properties. Again, go to the labels tab and I'll check label this layer with, hit the drop down and choose name as the attribute column to label with. Then I'll enter the following settings. Under text, again, I'm going to choose Arial as the font. I'm going to use the normal style for these, but again, set the font size at 9. And I'm going to choose the color of a hue saturation value of 000, which it is now. So I'll just accept that and click OK. And then on the placement tab, I'm going to choose Online and click OK. So now I've got streets labeled as well. So the basic labeling does a pretty good job here in labeling the roads, but there are some issues, and so let's go over some of these. So for example, this label here on Brown Street Court. This is an example of a street label that overruns the street feature that it's labeling. Down here, there's streets being labeled multiple times, and both labels are in close proximity to one another. Up here, North Walk is a path, and it's being labeled the same way a road is, and this path could or should have a different label style since it's a different type of road, a different type of feature on the map. So the label could help distinguish that feature type. And then down here, Congress Street. The label's running off the map and it should be moved or removed. And the South River label has moved a little bit too, but it's also overlapping the road still like we mentioned before. These labels are crowding each other. 
and we'll be able to find better locations for these. So of these four issues, I can address B, the streets being labeled multiple times over here, by changing a labeling property for the labels in the roads layer. So I'm going to double click on the roads layer and open up the label properties. And I'll switch to this rendering tab, which allows me to adjust some properties on how the labels are rendered. And down under feature options, I'm going to check merge connected lines to avoid duplicate labels. I'll click OK. And notice that the number of labels has been greatly reduced and the multiple labels in the same roads have, for the most part, been removed. So this area that we were focusing on looks much better now. Now in the next task, I'll improve these labels using advanced QGIS labeling functions.